Sergei Dragunov is an aggressive lockdown character that specializes on burying the opponent under massive plus frames, with moves such as Russian Assault, Blizzard Armor, and his new addition, Ignition Switch. Russian Assault is a long-range counter launcher that leaves Dragunov at a massive advantage on block, making it extremely risky for the opponent to press buttons afterwards. If the input is performed quickly enough, the move will receive enhanced damage and additional chip damage on block. If the opponent trying to sidestep, Dragunov can apply his high damage stinger kick to tag the opponent. Ignition Switch is the new addition to Dragunov's arsenal that combines extremely oppressive frames with great chip damage on block. It is also an heat engager that hits opponent laying on the ground. The only few downsides of this move are the linearity and the fact that forces Dragunov in crouch. Blizzard Hammer can be described as a mini Russian Assault, easier to input but much less range and no launch on counter it. Although power crept a little bit in Tekken 8 by an easier to input Russian Assault and by an overtuned ignition switch, can still be effective up close and at the wall. If the opponent dares to contest Dragunov's plus frames, he can shut down the opponent with Salvo and Tundra Strike. When the opponent is conditioned not to press buttons, Dragunov can apply his powerful throw game to break the opponent's guard. However, very high-level players can apply the correct throw break by looking at the grab animation. In that case, Dragunov has to rely on more conventional mix-ups, using lows instead of throws. The new low Dragunov received in Tekken 8, Deadly Scorpion, falls under the category of Power Low. Best example of this is Brian Hatchet Kick. However, while this kind of lows are relatively safe with good tracking, Dragunov's Deadly Scorpion is launch punishable on block, with poor tracking on his weak side. For this reason, it's better to apply this move sparingly. Dragunov can also punish opponents' mistakes severely, with tools such as Scimitar, Cocked Hammer, <laughs> Cocked Hammer and Stinger Elbow, preventing the opponent to mindlessly mash buttons to stop him from running in. Slay Ride and Rolling Thunder can be used to approach the opponent by slipping under enemy's attacks in case he likes to play keepouts. With his long limbs, Dragunov can prevent the opponent from creating space. With his generic left jab, down forward one, and Razor, Dragunov's main low poke, which is also pretty much homing, and on counter it, it gives 13 frames of advantage. Down forward one is also risky to contest due to the high follow up that now launches on counter it. Also, from crouch, Dragunov can access to his Hail Slicer, that leaves Dragunov at plus seven on hit, but forces him to transition into sneak stance. Luckily, Sneak stands as a plethora of powerful options in Tekken 8. However, keep in mind that most of them are steppable towards the right. Because of this, it's important to enforce a mix-up only at a high frame advantage. A rather important tech for Dragunov is his Sneak Cancel that allows him to extend his wall carry by cancelling his Sneak stance pressing up with the right timing. This is also useful to expand Dragunov offensive options on the ground. Bunker Buster Elbow is a faster, less committal Blizzard Hammer that can effectively be used in the neutral to stress overly defensive players with a quick plus one on block mid that forces crouch. When pressured, Dragunov's options are quite limited. Salvo is his go-to panic button since it is hit confirmable and now unheat engager. It's for free although being more damaging is slower and not hit confirmable making it less favored as a country tool. Nice addition to Tekken 8, though, is the ability to use throws as counter tools, since now when they interrupt the opponent's attacks, are incredibly difficult to break, even for experienced players. Downford 1-4 is a risky last resort option, to try to stop more evasive characters to rush down Dragunov. For this reason, it's important to rely more on movements, to get away from opponent's pressure and score a quick launch with Dragunov's Downford 2. In case of high disadvantage, Dragunov has a couple of tricks up his sleeve, with a generic parry and a high-risk, high-reward backswing blow. However, keep in mind that both of these options can be severely punished. He can now also try to use his Snake Edge as a high-crush launcher, but unfortunately this option is not any safer. 
At the wall, Dragonop can try to score a wall splat with tools such as Ignition Switch, Thundra Slash, or Reaper Kick, in case the opponent tries to sidestep to get away from the wall. On the ground, Ignition Switch is still a good option since it hits grounded, while Slicing Sobat, that now can be converted into a combo, is a powerful option against low getup kicks. A little bit power crept, up forward 2 is also a natural hit launcher that crushes lows and that hits grounded, but it is rather slow and the range leaves quite to be desired. In heat, Dragonov has access to a series of unbreakable throws like his cancel throws and his ultimate tackle. Ultimate tackle cannot be accessed directly anymore by simply pressing down back 1 plus 2. Dragonov has to commit to strings in order to access to it. When it comes to weaknesses, while Dragonov can effectively stop people from retreating backwards, the same can't be said for the opponent sidestepping him. The few homing options at his disposal are generally very risky. Razor and Serrated Edge can both be countered by crouching, while the mid option, Reaper Kick, is slow, doesn't have a lot of range and is incredibly minus of block. No sidesteps or parries are allowed. His ability to open up defensive players greatly reduces his eye level, forcing him to rely on way more risky options. Also, as already mentioned, his defensive tools are far from being impressive, making him very predictable in his approach and easy to pressure up close.